Jefferson with his second. And Karan Butler on the foul line, where he's two for three tonight. He leads Dallas in scoring with 12. Another opportunity to go to the basket. Mavericks back at the line. They've been making their free throws tonight. This would look a little different. It's still a double-digit lead. It doesn't look real bad anyway, does it? <laughs> exactly right. McDice goes in for Bonner. And you've got Butler, who is averaging 14 and a half points per game for the series, at 14 points for tonight's game, midway through the second quarter. Makes both free throws and Dallas up 38-25. Ginobili driving. Oh, it went right that time. He was working on that before the game tonight, going to his right, shooting that very shot. And the work paid off. He gets the hoop. Butler hits it again. Steps into it from long range and knocks down Dallas's first three-pointer of the game. Ginobili loses it. Foot race. Kid gets there. Up ahead to Berea. Who lays it in? Good job by Kid. Berea gets out front. Wild in here, guys. The crowd into it, I think, taking a cue from seeing how bone shakingly loud it was at the ATT Center in games three and four. Good to see the fans here tonight take the cue for the folks down in San Antonio. Another, it's supposed to be home court advantage after all. Another block by Haywood, an excellent block. To beat the shot clock, George Hill hits for the baseline. Tough shot by Hill, but I'm just sitting here thinking, you guys think uh, Haywood's enjoying the start tonight? He is playing fantastic. Playing as well as he has all series long. He just got the block shot, but San Antonio gets it back and finishes to beat the block. Hill got the jumper. There's that play again. Kid beats Ginobili, gets the steal, and finds Perea, who has a half dozen off the bench. Dallas with a timeout with 5.41 left in the second. Jamison, he just banged a three. It's now a nine-point game there in Cleveland. Looks like they're going to move on. Well, it's not over yet, Rick. It's, it's very close, though. <laughs> We'll see what happens. You take me too literally, I mean, come my on, man. man. My it's God. Three and a half to go. They're yeah. up by nine. I think, it's, I think it's very close to being over, and I'm not afraid to say it at all. Let's get you back to Dallas. Kid from Berea. Tees up a three and connects. The key to that call that you just made was tease up. When he gets time to do that, it's a little different. Isn't it? Got his feet set, and that's the Jason Kidd three-point shot that we saw throughout the regular season when he hit 176, the third most in the NBA. Spurs come back and get a basket. Tim Duncan. Nobody does that better on that 45-degree angle than Tim Duncan using the glass. He is superb at that. Five minutes left in the first half. Butler screams, and Kidd will give it to him against Parker. And a step back. Get the line by Haywood, controlled by McDice. He's going to go. Yep, all the way. Followed in by McDice as Ginobili missed. When he drops that inside shoulder, you know Ginobili's going all the way to the rim. And Moran tries to go all the way to the rim. Got hung up with McDice. Maintained possession. Dirk to the basket and flips it home. They're making a marathon out of going to the basket, and it's really helping them. And a great job of Dirk reading how Tim Duncan was going to have to recover. He attacked the second that he caught the ball, took the right angle, and got to the basket. Going baseline hill. Bounces back to Duncan. Mavs rebounds. Spurs shooting 41%. Dallas 53% tonight. Dirk had McGuice all over him. Correa chased off the line, gets inside. Haywood fouled with 3.58 left in the second quarter. San Antonio now has 14 fouls, and that's the first tonight on Duncan. Did they call that on Duncan? No, they've reversed it. They've changed it to Parker. The initial indication yeah. was Duncan. That's what they put up on the monitor initially, but they called it on Parker, Bob, for his first. Haywood now one for five on free throws. Here's a look. There you'll see it. Came down across the right arm. Parker fouled him first. You noted earlier, Bob, the Mavericks making a marathon out of going to the basket. 
And so many times you see it game to game, the more aggressive team is the one that gets rewarded. And you just saw the stat on the screen. Dallas has 16 free throw attempts now tonight compared to only four for San Antonio. 12 to shoot. Hand off on McDice to Parker. Parker flips up an off-balance shot, maneuvering around Barea. And that's two fouls now on Barea. The foul on J.J. puts Parker on the free throw line with 3.41 left in the half. For the Mavericks, that's their third team foul of the quarter. I'll say this, guys. I really like the way the game is being officiated tonight. I think it's I think it's physical. I think it's got a good pace. I think the refs are letting them play a little bit. They're calling the obvious fouls. But sure. I, this is a good playoff game. This is a good flow to this. One of the reasons that's happening is in a full court game where there's a lot more transition, uh, you don't, it doesn't get as physical as, as it does with all the half-court sets mm -hmm. where you have time in half-court sets to double-team and, and be physical before a player receives the ball. And the Mavericks need to play that way. They, they need to stretch the defense. They need to get out in the open court, capitalize on Kidd's ability to distribute. Dirk with a jump shot, but wave it off. No basket. Offensive foul on Dallas. And that's called on Jason Terry, who just subbed into the game for Berea. Terry is hit with his first foul tonight, and the Mavericks commit their third turnover. They've all been here in the second quarter. You hate to lose that basket right there. Richard Jefferson back in. San Antonio goes smaller as Jefferson went in and McDice goes out. You've got Duncan and four guys who can spread the floor now for the Spurs. Ginobili in the lane. Duncan quickly moved it along and a wide open look is no good for George Hill. They're trailing the play. Spin move in the paint. Scoop to the hoop. Need I, mention, 35. need I mention another one going to the basket? Sure, go right ahead. <laughs> 20 foot jumper, Richard Jefferson on the money. First shot, first basket tonight for Jefferson, who for the series is averaging 11 points and shooting 57%. He's had really good games for San Antonio in games two and four. Steal by Tony Parker. In transition, Parker in on Butler, and it bounces down. You don't want him to close this gap now before the first half ends. We've got a very, very important two minutes and 20 seconds. 20-second timeout called by Dallas, but we're due for a full now with 2.25 remaining in the second quarter. Mavericks really getting a help from a lot of different folks tonight. Butler leads away with 17, but Dirk's having a pretty nice night for himself. The little lefty scoop goes. Mavericks lead by a dozen. Let's get you back to American Airlines Center. Follow Will and Ortigal. A bow tie on you. We've seen that happen many times when he comes in in a suit before the game. A shout out to Troy Duncan. It's, it's or good, Bruce Bowen. It's a good year if you're, uh, your, your name is Brooks. <laughs> Scott it Brooks and Aaron made. Brooks winning postseason awards. I couldn't be happier for Scott Brooks. Former Maverick and former TCU Horn Frog. Ginobili went behind the back. Poked away by Butler. A good defensive play. San Antonio's seventh turnover. Naharaz come into the game. Trying to make a pass over the top, floats down to Dirk, but a poor pass outside stolen by San Antonio. In the corner, Parker. Mavs have led by as many as 17. It's been cut down to 12, but it won't get any closer just yet. Steal by Jason Terry. And Butler on a follow. Bodies hit the floor in the lane. Duncan went down. Nahara went down. Terry went down. But Karan Butler playing with just a world of difference tonight from a passion and poise and aggressiveness standpoint. He's got 19 points now. That looked like load left there, and Karan Butler just went in and cleaned <laughs> up the mess. Richard Jefferson with the offensive rebound. Parker scoring with a foul for Tony Parker. That was He's a big collision. Down. Yeah, big collision there, guys. I'm not so sure Parker didn't get hit in the face. Tony Parker leads San Antonio with 12 points. That takes a shot, it would appear, in the left eye. 
Will Sevening, the trainer for the San Antonio Spurs, tending to him. And they have called a flagrant walk.